episode, we're going to burn stuff, we're going to eat stuff, and we're going to buy stuff. Stay tuned. There's some forums, and some of the van dwellers say they don't use this as insulation. This is that uh, great stuff that you get from Home Depot. It starts to add up in price, though. That's another thing. So they say it's flammable, so we're doing a little test here. Definitely it's flammable. Look at that. Well, it doesn't keep burning, though. It doesn't keep burning. Whew, ooh, that's some toxic smoke, I bet. Anyway, and I also read rock wool is not so great to use because it does collect moisture. Earlier I said it didn't. Yeah, there it is, burning. It's great stuff. What's so great about it? It gets expensive, too, when you start filling all those crevices. Yeah, it is burning. It looks like it's keeping... Yeah, actually it is pretty... It is flammable. That's a flammable material. We should try the foam board next. Well, it went out, though. It went out? It didn't stay. It's probably not that bad. Unless someone was making it out to be. So this is the pink board burn test. You have to see if anything's better. It feels like burning cerebral. Yeah. This is a petroleum-based product as well. So it's not all pink and fluffy like it looks. And when I'm using the multi-tool and cutting this stuff, it creates little tiny fibers. And that flows through the air. It's a pain to get rid of later. But uh, probably shouldn't be breathing this stuff because it is a petroleum-based product. It's melting more than anything. Oh my god, it just shrinks up. It's, it's, all like, little... it's all hollow. It's all air, right? Ooh, like... it is, actually. Actually, this seems to be more flammable than the great stuff. It seems to be... Okay, it's just melting. But, yeah. Probably very toxic fumes out of that. The rock will... The rock will burn test. See? What? Doesn't... That seems to be the most fire retardant of the three. But the downside of this is that it collects moisture. It'll trap moisture in. No, unless you let your, your it breathe, dude. You have ventilation here. You have the roof in the bottom. This is all, there's nothing sealed here. This is all vented. And you have a vent right there. Yeah. There's places for moisture to get away. Right. You'll see. All right. You just easily pop the door and inspect it. Like here. Yeah, I'll do that. Starting this day off with a wonderful breakfast, compliments of our chef, Kathy, and our chickens that we have here on the property. Thank you, guys. Your your offspring are delicious. Mm. As they watch us as we eat over their, their spawn. Pretty creepy, but pretty tasty. So we're here at Home Depot again to re-up on some supplies. Um, here's what I'm getting. Last time we used this, uh, we've been making heavy use of this great stuff. Um, before we got the, just the window and crack sealer, but I feel like that wasn't the, for the right application. It doesn't it doesn't expand as as much as the other uh, the other products in their line. So this is the big gap filler. This is uh, you got to be careful with this because if I spray it in there, that has a tendency to expand too far. And it could damage and bow out the sides of the vehicle. <laughs> so I gotta be careful with that. So, um, and then because we spilled uh, great stuff all over our clothes, we're gonna try this and see if we can help clean our clothes off. And um, some of the uh, other van dwellers, the guys that are doing the builds, recommend tracing out the, the contours with this with paper and then applying that to your plywood or whatever. And so I'm gonna try that. So this was like $4 on this roll. I'm going to use for, uh, to replace the Reflectix on, I'm going to adhere this to the wheel wells. It's got this nice, um, adhesive type backing, and, um, it guarantees, or well, they state that it's, um, R value 3, and that's versus the Reflectix. I was just going to cut some Reflectix and tape it into place, but this should provide, just out of the box, um, a higher R value rating. Now, the Reflectix, it's a marketing claim, they claim like 6. But, um, in what I've researched, it's really only R1, and that's because even the manufacturer states that you need to have, like, a three-inch gap of air in between, and that's what provides the insulation and gives it the R6 value. So, really, that stuff is overhyped, overused, and, um, this out-of-the-box should be fine, should provide R3 value. I'm in the HVAC section. This is duct insulation, so, um, we'll give it a shot. 
I've never seen anybody use it before, but I'll give it a shot. Another replacement for the much uh, overhyped Reflectix. Um, you really don't get that much of it in a pack, and each each roll costs three dollars fifty cents, something like that. So I'm going to um, invest or look into using some of this just HVAC foil back to tape, and it should should have the same effect. The Reflectix tape that I'm talking about. So it's three thirty five for a thirty foot roll. And just my rough calculations is uh, about double the price uh, when compared to just HVAC foil backed tape. And it's really the same stuff. Come on. Hey man. YouTubers, if you liked my video, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Get out there and live the dream. LTD. Later.